our televiewers, this is Tanya Eliseo reporting. Have you ever been in the north of Luzon, 42 kilometers from Manila, you will find the province of Malolos, Bulacan. There lies a very important historical landmark in our country that is rich with historical events since the Spanish era. I am talking about the Paris Wayne Church. Paris Wayne Church, titled as the Cradle of Democracy in the East, one of the most important religious buildings in the Philippines, founded in the year 1859 by Augustinian missionaries and completed in 1888. Paris Wayne Church is not just an ordinary place for worship, but also one of the most historical attractions in the country because three significant events in our history occurred in the church. First, the convening of the first Philippine Congress on September 15, 1898 under the presidency of Pedro Paterno. In this picture was the opening of Malolos Congress. Second, the ratification of the Malolos Constitution on January 21, 1899. And lastly, the inauguration of the First Philippine Republic on January 23, 1899, Emilia Aguinaldo took his oath of office as President of the First Philippine Republic. In this picture, you will see Emilia Aguinaldo walking to his inauguration from the Convento of the Malolos Cathedral to Paris Wind Church in 1899. Besides Emilia Aguinaldo, it is also where former President Joseph Estrada took his oath of office as the 13th pres Philippine President due to its significance during the centennial year of the Republic of the Philippines. Paris Wayne Church is also called Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church. It features also a remarkable museum and courtyard for travelers who appreciate history and architecture. What is inside the Paris Wayne Church? I will tell you more about it. Inside the church, there are different displays of saints and altars everywhere and Our Lady of Mount Carmel's figures. Chandeliers and night lamps surround the place and makes it more beautiful at night. Beside it lies the Paris Wayne Church Museum, having a collection of artifacts and signature items from both the church's history and the history of Malolos itself. Across the church and to the other end of the courtyard stands a statue of the very first president of the Philippine Republic, Emilio Aguinaldo. Here are some important facts of, about Barras Wayne Church. Did you know Barras Wayne Church is 133 years old? Yes, since it was completely built in 1888. The first Barras Wayne Church was constructed out of Nipa in 1859 before the Stone Church was only built in 1884 through the efforts of Father Juan Quiron. Barras Wayne was known before as Bancal. It was derived from Barras Wayne by Spanish authorities coined the term Barras ng Suail, which means Dungeon of the Defiance, because it was a meeting place for anti-Spanish illustrados. If you were born in the 90s, you would remember seeing the Barras Wayne Church on the reverse side of the old 10 peso bill which circulated from the late 1980s to 2002. The Barras Wayne has also become the favorite church wedding reception for couples coming from different areas in the Philippines. The church pretty much retains its old facade, and again, beside it, there is a 
Time Museum, one can check out free of charge. When you are within the Vin City of Malolos, make sure to pay a visit and learn more about its history. One of the national shrines in the Philippines. Thank you very much. Once again, this is Tanya Eliseo reporting.